Hey friends, welcome back to another video. I am sharing a weekly grocery haul. Uh, I did go to Hy-Vee. I mostly just got meat and stuff mostly for the boys' lunches and little things that we needed. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I got, make sure you watch the video all the way through. Samir, what are you doing? <laughs> I did straighten my hair for the first time, you guys, in like months. And it's like really frizzy now, but it got really, really long. I'm gonna prop up the phone so you guys can see, but my hair got super long. I'm actually planning to get some highlights in my hair. I'm trying to find a good spot, but not like the blonde like I did before in the past. It's gonna be just like a pretty copper like fall color. But look at the length, you guys. Oh my god, so long. So long. But we are gonna share everything that I got. Samir, you wanna say hi? Hi. Say, say hi, guys. Mama, Ice cream. We gotta show them what we got. What is that? Oh, we got mint, mint cookie crunch, little twist cones. Okay, let's show them. <laughs> All together, I think I spent like $130. Um, and that's mostly because I added something I don't ever get on my grocery hauls. They were doing beer tasting. And I tried this Oktoberfest beer based out of Colorado from this brewery. And it was... I'm not a beer drinker at all. Hi, Lulu. Hey, girl. Lulu. 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 You say hi? You say hi? Uh, but it was based out of Colorado from a brewery there. So I tried it and it was, I never thought I'd say this, but it was really good. So I bought a case of that. <laughs> Samira's wanted one of these, but <laughs> before he has me rip it open, these were on sale for $3.50. So I did get a box of those. And then a box of mini ice cream sandwiches for them, which they really love. I got some more pancakes. This has been really good for quick breakfasts for them. You know, I had the idea that I'd be making fresh pancakes every day. That's not happening. And then I got two loaves of bread. Okay, hold on. Let mama set this down. He's throwing me off starting this way. But then I also got four pizzas, two cheese, and, you know, two bacon cheeseburgers. Tank's literally eating sausage for breakfast every morning. So I did grab four packs of these. These are just really convenient because I can either throw them in the pan if I'm making a big breakfast or they're fully cooked so we can throw them in the microwave. And this boy, that's all he wants for breakfast is sausage. So whatever makes him happy. I did get some more fake butter <laughs> just because it's the cheapest thing right now and you got to do what you got to do. I got some shredded cheese. I did get a thing of regular French vanilla creamer just because it was on sale and the zero sugar. I'm kind of getting burnt out of it, but to be honest, you guys know I'm going to be having surgery really soon in the next couple weeks. So during that time, I think I'm not going to be drinking coffee right away. So I'm just enjoying it this month because next month I won't be drinking much of it after I get that surgery. Just to kind of see if I'm going to develop IBS or not. So I'm not going to dive right into coffee right away. Uh, I did get some juice, some fruit punch, and then just four Lunchables for Samir. These things were actually from Dollar Tree. I went in there and I grabbed some random snacks. The boys actually really like these. And for $1.25 versus, you know, buying like real goldfish, they liked them. They didn't tell the difference. So that's a win. So I have two boxes of those. One's already open. They opened one of these too, but I got, this was just quickly. Usually I get these at another store. But like I said, I ran in Dollar Tree for like toilet paper or something and grabbed some random snacks along with the fruit roll-ups for them as well. And then two different things of Pop-Tarts for them, just strawberry and cherry. Then I got a ton of chicken, you guys. Really good price, I thought at least. So I got some chicken wings for $7.75 and then some chicken legs, only $3.17. Awesome deal. And then I think, what, chicken breast? That was $4.72. And then I got some chicken thighs, which was only $3.61. So that's a lot of chicken that'll last for a while. Then I also got a thing of pork chops 
and then a thing, a slab of ribs. We had ribs when my brother and his wife were here. Lakin actually really liked them, so we were at the grocery store. He asked if I could get a thing of ribs so we can have ribs for dinner one night. I got a thing of grapes as well. And then they had the party size chips on sale for $3.88 for, per bag, which I thought that was an amazing deal. So I did get some Doritos, uh, the nacho cheese and ranch, and then also some Cheetos. And then these were on sale for $2 as well. That I did get some fresh donuts out of the bakery. Lakin wanted sprinkled, then we did three glaze and then one cinnamon sugar. Yum. And then over here, I just got two Gatorades and then two boxes of juice boxes for the kids. And this is my beer, you guys. Let me know if you guys have tried it ever. If you are a beer drinker, do you like wine? Do you not drink? I mean, I honestly don't drink. Usually I drink socially. I don't drink at home very often. If I do, it's typically wine. But this was a seasonal beer. They had me do a little taste, and I thought it was actually really good. It reminded me of this beer that I had years ago. I went on this beer cruise, and I had some summer shandy beer that was based out of Milwaukee that was delicious. This reminded me of that so much. It's nice and smooth. It's crisp. And it doesn't have that nasty beer taste. So this is a little small little case. I don't even know how many cans come in here. I think six. They're like, yeah, six. It's a six pack. So let me know. Have you guys ever had this brand before? Are you a beer drinker? Do you like wine? Or you just don't drink at all? And lastly, there's a Starbucks in there. And I did get conned into buying this pretty cup. Show ya. How pretty is that? So pretty. As if I need another cup. I'm going to show you guys. This is my cup cabinet. I did organize this over the weekend. Well, not over the weekend. Today's, I don't know. It wasn't over the weekend. It was like the other day. And I tried to line all my cups the best I can. I did kind of purge and get rid of some other cups that I don't use anymore. Try to do all coffee on that shelf. And then regular glass and stuff like that up there. But I have cups in the dishwasher. So I need to get something better going on. I did clean out this bottom little cabinet here because I think I'm gonna move some stuff around and set up more cup space excuse my dirty kitchen you guys know there's always something going on in here real life but why not add another cup to the collection of space that I don't have but it was really pretty this purple is my favorite color I love like that lavender purple you guys know I have my Timu cup it's back in there somewhere but it's like that pretty lilac lavender that is my favorite color I don't like dark purple so when I saw this I was like it's calling my name. I had to have it. So that's my grocery haul, you guys. It wasn't a lot of stuff. It wasn't much at all. But I mostly just needed to get a ton of chicken and meats for the week. And mostly just little snacks and stuff for their lunches and little treats for them. You guys will have to let me know if there's anything on here. that What's new to me was that beer for sure. And then the mint chocolate little mini cones. That was something new. Uh, Samir already took it and ate it. So you'll have to let me know if you've ever had it. Can you guys believe it's already September? Well, it's actually the middle of September. Halloween's around the corner. Tank! Halloween's around the corner. Sorry. And then we have Thanksgiving, and then it'll be Christmas before we know it. This year literally flew. Unreal, unbelievable how fast time is really going. But this is just a quick little video, you guys. I have a vlog coming up where it's going to be a day in the life. I'm going to be sharing me decorate my front porch. I did decorate my living room just because there was so much going on. I originally planned to film it, but I just didn't have the time. I literally had all the bags of decor sitting in my foyer, and I just one day was like, I have to get all of this stuff decorated, or I was going to just return all of it to the store because I said, if I'm not using it, it's literally sitting in bags. So I did decorate. I didn't film it. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about doing like a fall house tour for you guys. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that, and I can definitely just go through and show you guys all of my decorations for this fall. But like I said, I do have a vlog that will be going up either Sunday or Monday, and I will be decorating my front porch for fall. So you will get that at least, and then possibly I'll do a fall home tour if you guys are interested. Also, before I get off this video, I've said a couple times, you guys watched my last vlog as far as me having surgery and all that, and I kind of touched base on how I'm not going to be getting paid. I don't have short-term disability. When I originally took this position a year ago, I was at a prior location that was somewhere else and I didn't have it there. So when I signed up for insurance and all of that at the location I'm at now, I didn't do short-term disability. And it was literally just our open enrollment to add those things. And if I wanted to add it, it was gonna have to get approved and it wasn't gonna start until after 
I have my surgery anyways. So I know some people have asked that route and I only have like a week of sick and vacation time like combined that's like barely gonna cover 40 hours. So I wanted to just update on that because I know a lot of people have asked in my last video and I had some other messages on Instagram as far as kind of doing those scenarios. But a couple other people did recommend maybe I do like some type of registry on Amazon to kind of help with little odds and ends, household things. So that's less money I have to spend throughout October and going into November when I am able to return back to work. I wish there was a way that I didn't have to be off the full couple weeks, but unfortunately I have to. I cannot go back until the doctor fully releases me, which will be at the end of October. Hopefully when I go, I'm healing good. My stuff, you know, I'm able to get up and move around. I'm not worried about the recovery. I know the surgery. Some people are probably like, you were making a big deal out of this. Like it's gonna be so hard. I've had three C-sections, you guys. If I could get through three C-sections, I can get through this little minor lap laparoscopic surgery. As long as it's minor, there's no complications. You never know. That's the thing with surgery. Yes, it's a simple surgery. Yes, it's a simple recovery. Within a week, I'll be good. But there's just the unknown. You never know with anything. And it doesn't make you... It shouldn't diminish your fear. Like if you're nervous or anxious, that's okay to feel that way because there's risk with any surgery no matter how big or small it is you never know what could come and i know one of the risks they said or the chance the possibility is if there's gallstones stuck in my bile duct i would have to go back in the next day for a whole other surgery where they have to put a tube down my throat and all this other stuff they said that's like the only like possible chance which that's something you know they don't know until they're in there hopefully that doesn't happen and i'm not scared of the actual surgery it's just the being put to sleep because yes i've had three c-sections but i was awake i just had a spinal i was just numbed so i didn't feel anything but i was never i've never actually been put to sleep during surgery so that's where my fear lies which i know i'll be fine and i have not been thinking about it i know the day that i go in i'll be thinking about it but that's really the only reason i'm anxious but all of you have been great with reassuring kind of sharing your experiences and it's really crazy since i'm having this surgery on social media, I've seen so many people having a surgery. It seems like this is a very common thing. The gallbladder just needs to go. It causes so many problems. And it seems like I know that it is a very common surgery. So that part, I'm not too worried about. I know I'll be okay. It is what it is. But I have started to create kind of what I've called a surgery recovery registry. I will link that. Um, it's just little odds and end things like um, household things, snacks for the kids, juices, cat food, laundry soap, little things like that. So for any of you that were asking, I will have it linked down in my description box. If you guys want to purchase something from it, you can. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. Really all I need is just your prayer, prayers and well wishes just to help me get through it. This month is gonna be a very tight, tight month for me financially, but just whatever way I can kind of get the extra help that I can to just not have to spend so much on other little things so some people have asked for it so I did do it I didn't want to I don't like to ask for help but several people messaged me and said that they thought that that would be a good way because they wanted to help and it'd be a way where I wouldn't have to like give my address or anything like that so that's what it is hi Lakin you tried my coffee yeah okay well I'm gonna end this video here like I said you guys stay tuned for a day in the life vlog that will be coming up you want to say hi 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 thanks <laughs> That video will be coming up in the next couple days. Until the next video, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget how strong and powerful you are. Okay, goodbye. What? Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.